Good evening and welcome to our new home at the mailbox. 2004 and everything was changing for Midlands today. More than 30 years of news and programme making at Pebble Mill came to an end in a bang. The producers of the daytime soap Doctors have got one last surprise. Well, blowing up the surgery, which was part of our Pebble Mill building, meant that doctors could move to a new set. Dramatic stuff. But we've had plenty of drama in our news coverage over the past 10 years from our new home at the mailbox in Birmingham. And across the city, tales of amazing escapes and also of people caught up in the tornado's 20 seconds of mayhem. In 2005, one of the strongest tornadoes recorded in the UK struck Birmingham, a couple of miles over there. As we were running, like, we heard like, stuff falling behind us. And the weather was to wreak havoc in 2007, with the wettest summer since records began. Tewkesbury was completely cut off by road. The army was called in as hundreds of thousands were left without drinking water. We are at one of the highest points in England. Well, adverse weather conditions have brought challenges to our reporters in the field. But the heavy snows of 2010 weren't going to stop intrepid Joan Cummins reaching the Staffordshire village of Flash. This car over here has been buried since Saturday. And you can see where I'm standing. My legs have been completely lost in the snow. Global recession meant long established companies bit the dust. But Jaguar Land Rover boomed under new Indian owners Tata. And much loved Cadbury survived, despite concerns when it was taken over by the Americans. A diplomatic answer from the new boss when we asked if she preferred US made chocolate or dairy milk. I happen to be a significant dairy milk fan. I love the, I love the taste of the chocolate, and I've particularly come to understand that the UK formula is somewhat different than, uh, than the product that is made in America, and I, I like it a lot. The Pope came to Birmingham in 2010, evoking memories of the papal visit to Coventry in 1982. 50,000 attended an open-air mass to beatify Cardinal Newman. Cardinal John Henry Newman, priest of the Congregation of the Oratory, shall henceforth be invoked as blessed And nearly 50,000 people marched to save scandal-hit Stafford Hospital. In 2011, the Midlands was on the brink. Riots in London spread here. Three men died. A plea from one father helped end the violence. Step forward if you want to lose your sons. Otherwise, calm down and go home. The Olympic spirit was everywhere in 2012. And as the torch toured the region, the flame ignited your excitement. And your imagination was captured too by an amazing find in a field near Litchfield. He came in the yard and really excited. Uh, I found a Saxon old. It's better than winning the lottery. And I told him not to talk so bloody daft. You queued for hours to glimpse the Staffordshire Hoard, the largest collection of Anglo-Saxon metalwork ever found in the world. Stunning. Have you heard the news today about the storm that's on its way? We helped unearth new music talent too. Thousands of you voted in the School of Rock competition to find the region's best young bands. You light the skies up above me. But let's end with the passing of two remarkable characters this year. Steve Evans from Wolverhampton so captured the hearts of thousands with his positive messages as he battled incurable cancer. My joyous position is that I am not promoting a book. I haven't got tickets to sell for my one-man show. I'm just a person who can... The, the, my story has no light and shade. That It is all positive. And I, like many of you, will never forget the bravery of Stephen Sutton, who died in May, aged just 19. The Staffordshire teenager raised nearly £5 million for the Teenage Cancer Trust and continues to inspire people across the world. Thank you for showing us away, but thank you all for coming, and it's good to be here. Thank you.